Hey besties, in my last interview video, someone asked me, how do we answer behavioral questions? Now, if you've attended an interview before, best believe you have been asked a behavioral question, but maybe you did not know what it was. After this video, especially if you are preparing for an interview, best believe you are going to know exactly what to do when you see a behavioral question. Oh my God, where's the mic? I'm not used to using this mic, but for you and for the audio quality, I would use the mic. So what are behavioral interview questions? Don't be scared. They are not hard things to understand. Basically, your interviewer is trying to test how you have handled real life situations in the past. Basically, them checking how you have behaved in specific circumstances. And I'm going to be giving you the secret weapon, hey, it's a weapon truly, to answering any behavioral question. And it is called the STAR method. Oh, by the way, I'm not an HR expert, but I'm a professional with a wealth of experience and knowledge. And I'm sharing this information on this platform. So for your HR related content, I think you should subscribe to this channel. So as I was saying, the STAR method is your weapon. So what is STAR? The S stands for situation, the T stands for task, the A stands for action, and the R stands for result. Don't worry, I'll break it down to you so you would know exactly what I'm talking about. So when you are confronted with a behavioral question, what should you do? Remember the STAR weapon. So STAR, situation. So what is the scenario? What is the context of what happened? Like, what is that situation? Don't worry, I will still give you examples. But for you to apply the examples, you have to understand the basic formula. What happened? What is the situation? What is the context of that situation? Then next, the task. So what were you expected to do? What was expected of you? What was the goal in mind? That is the task. The next action, what did you do? What actions did you take? And in this, you should focus on the actions you took, not the actions your team took because the focus is on you. Then finally, the R for results. So what happened? What were the consequences of this action that you took? What outcome resulted from it? Whether it's positive or negative, because sometimes the outcome could be negative, but it becomes a learning experience for you. Don't worry, I'll give you personal examples of things that have happened that has helped me in answering the behavioral interview questions. So now, are we familiar with the STAR weapon? Situation, task, action, and results. So now, examples of behavioral questions. Remember, I said a behavioral question is any question that, that makes your interviewer see how you have handled a given situation. So you could be asked something like, tell me about a time when you had to face a difficult challenge at work. That is a behavioral question. It's a difficult challenge. So how did you face it? Another one could be, talk about how you've been able to work with a difficult co-worker. That is a behavioral question. You could also be asked, can you share an example of how you handled a project with tight deadlines? Also, give me an instance where you had to do something that was unexpected to solve a particular problem. Now, all of these, see, it could come in various forms. They could formulate various things. But one thing is clear. In every interview, you would be asked a behavioral interview question. And once you know this STAR method, that is it. Sample example, tell me a time when you face a difficult challenge at work. So in your head, once you can categorize this thing, see, it even prevents you from fumbling. Not the one that you're just talking here and there, you're saying story that no one really cares about. So to that question, what is a difficult challenge you face at work? I could say, in my former job, there was a project that was falling behind due to unforeseen circumstances. I've given situation, the context of what happened. Now, what was expected of me? As the team lead or as whoever I was, it was my responsibility to get things back on track. That is task. What was expected of me? Now, what did I do? Action. I brainstormed with my team, restructured the project, 
and allocated adequate time to the most important projects at the time. Remember, even though I'm working with my team, I'm not dwelling on what the team did, I'm dwelling on what I did, which is my action. Also, I communicated with my clients, informing them of the change in time skills. That shows that I have good communication skills because not only am I able to work under pressure and still navigate situations, I also have the ability to communicate if things don't go as planned. That's my action. Now, what's the result? Ultimately, our efforts paid off and we were able to resolve the challenge and effortlessly execute the project, which made my manager impressed by my efforts. Now, that is a typical example of how you can use a star weapon to answer a behavioral question. Now, let me give you an instance of what me have actually said in an interview stage. So I remember them asking me, is there any time in the job where you did something different from what other people wanted you to do? I knew that it was a behavioral question and I also knew that they were testing my values. Like, is there a time when you did something different? Now, they are testing lots of things. So I told them, oh yes, when I was working in a charity where they support survivors of violence, I realized that a lot of the clients who are the survivors were getting pregnant. Basically, all the survivors were female and they could not have been getting pregnant because they were all females. My other team members felt we should keep the peace and not do anything about addressing the situation. Now, that is the situation. I've given them the context. Being a legal practitioner, I knew that it was within my power to advocate for the plight of these vulnerable women. I've just said my task, what is expected of me, because as a legal practitioner, I'm supposed to advocate for them. What did I do? Action. I communicated to the survivors and made them feel safe enough to talk to me about what is going on as I knew that it was strange for them to be getting pregnant when there was no man in their midst as survivors, which is the action I took. Now, the result. After communicating with the survivors, I realized that these survivors were being abused by some workers because, of course, we had male workers. So what happened was these survivors were being abused by male workers trading food, money and stuff like that in exchange for their bodies and that's how they were getting pregnant. Now the result of my action was that we were able to investigate further and these workers that perpetrated this violence were brought to book. My manager was extremely excited and was impressed by the fact that I confronted the issue instead of letting it slide when I knew that a vulnerable person, in fact, many vulnerable women were going to be affected. Sincerely, this is... <laughs> the last time I actually answered this particular question, it was when I was actually applying into the University of Lincoln for social work course. And my God, like my interviewer was so impressed because she was like, wow. Now the thing is, don't lift my example mm -mm, because you have to approve it. But in your scenario, there would always be something. And that's why, see, I've said it in my last video on interview and I will say it again. You must be strategic when you want to go for an interview. You can't go for an interview blank and expect them to just ask a question that you just start thinking. Mm -mm. You have to plan. So before you go for an interview, please remember your past experiences and start brainstorming. If they ask me this, this is a story. Like have ready stories because one thing you will not escape is behavioral interview questions. They would surely ask you. And I remember one time I, I got a behavioral question and it was something that did not happen. Like for instance, how do you cope with a challenging or difficult co-worker? I'm like, hey, because for me, like, literally, I mind my business at work. I don't know if you are difficult. Like, that's not my problem. My problem is me doing my job. So, when I get asked questions like that, I don't know how to answer it because the way I live my life, I don't look at anybody's face. So, if you decide to be difficult, like, it's literally your personal business. I really don't care. Like, I'm not going to be saying, uh-uh, why are you difficult? Why are you wicked to me? Uh-uh. I do what I need to do. 
Because if I'm being sincere, I don't even notice. <laughs> because my own is see, I'm giving out positive energy. Like anyone who wants to catch, catch. If you don't want to catch it, that's your business. But can I say that in an interview stage? Of course not. Of course not. Because if you're faced with a difficult co-worker, I've given how to address that kind of question. But I've been in a situation where they've asked me, give a scenario where you're confronted with a co-worker that was difficult. But I remember that, see, even though this person may not have been like difficult as per Basque boss, this person was actually difficult to work with. So because I already had like ready examples, it was easier to answer those questions. So once you have ready situations at your fingertips, it would be easy for you to apply the star weapon to answering these behavioral interview questions. I can't begin to start giving you all the examples because this thing is unique to you. It's not a one size fits all thing because I've shared my experience based on my experience. But best believe you have experiences. It's just about you before the interview, not when you are in the interview stage. Before the interview, have your stories. I've said it before. For interview, you have to be a good storyteller. Like you have to be a good storyteller. And it's good to be a strategic storyteller so you know what to say. And with this star weapon, you just have a rhythm to the madness. So even in your story, you are going to be extremely focused, extremely strategic. Not you just telling stories thinking that your interviewer is your friend. Mm -mm. But you telling strategic stories. And I hope I've been able to make you see one or two reasons why it's very important to use the star weapon in answering your behavioral interview questions. So that's it for today. If you have found this video helpful, I've created a playlist on all HR related content, interview tips, jobs. Just watch the playlist as there are lots of videos just for you. And I'm going to be seeing you my besties next time. And until then, stay blessed, remain happy, and I wish you the very best in your job search. Bye for now. Mwah. <laughs>